haven't gone live yet, so now, now you see they've they've restarted it. We're about to go live now. So like Kumon was in the, the server beforehand. I'm not sure what the the format is here if they go to knives. I'm assuming it's knives, because typically in ESL Pro League they don't do knives, they already have their side selected before we go live. So you're actually gonna see the knife here in the best of three. And I'd say it's not as important as it used to be, but I still feel CT is, is the beneficial side. I feel like teams are still finding their way on Nuke. It's a map that Dignitas played back in the major qualifiers uh, for Cologne. And I th if memory serves me correctly, my memory is awful. But I seem to remember casting it and they got absolutely rickrolled off Hellraisers. Like, they got done deep off Hellraisers. I'm not going to lie. So... I assume since then, obviously it's been quite some time, they put a lot more effort into this map. But VP, a team that not really too sure what to expect. Did the mainstream guys go home? I honestly have no idea what happened. I was literally told, like, you're casting the, the siding match. I was like, cool. And then realized that I'm sick. I was like, oh. <laughs> so I'll try and do my best, boys. It's probably not going to be my finest cast, but uh, I'll do what I can to make it somewhat decent. VP will be starting on the T side anyway. And we saw this in New York, I believe, when they played, if memory serves me correctly, SK. They went for a really cool uh, setup through the top with smokes and such. So I'll be curious to see if they go for this again. Currently where Neo is stood. He's going to throw in the Molotov. And here comes the action cage will be up in heaven. He's actually going to get the frag while flashbang. So a bit of a interesting passage of play there. Rabino, meanwhile, is trying to navigate the bullets round Config's head. Lands it onto Bialy, leaving Neo in a one-on-three. And he's been put down in his place. Dignitas with a pretty comfortable opening pistol to start things off. So VP, interestingly enough, in the ESL Pro League today have played five pistol rounds. And they have lost five pistol rounds. They have not won a single one. Against G2, they lost all of them. So, that's going to be rough if that trend continues in this best of three. But Dignitas putting a, a fair amount of investment into assault rifles for Mass 2 M4s. MP7 and UMP for the spray. And Stacks looking to vent dive, and he has got down there too. So, Rubino will be calling that information. It's an area of the map that is seeing a lot more players outside because of the connector. And the fact the silos go straight onto the catwalk. Config in the meanwhile. He's going to bag himself to frag onto Pasha. And just like that, VP are in a bit of trouble. Taz has the bomb down in secret, but he's by himself for now. He's going to be looking to take point for his team. Lands the Tech 9 headshot onto Config. Cage of Bean in the meanwhile answers back. So maybe they can get a bomb plant out of this. Probably the best case scenario. Magic is looking down from ramp, however, so it's going to be a, a rough ask for Neo to get himself across. He did pick up the bomb from Taz, who has transitioned across to the M4 with the Kevlar. But down he goes. Snacks. All that remains for terrorists. Does have quite a bit of time left, though, on the board. Does land the dink onto Magic as well, so decent start in this one on four. MSL, close range, is going to get the best room in. Dignitas take the 2-0. And I'm still in love with Rubino's knife, by the way. It's such a sick knife. So what are your guys' predictions then? Who do you think is going to go across? Oh my goodness, apologies. Fixed it for you. There's no ammo counters or health. My bad. Who do you think is going to qualify anyway for the LAN finals? Throw away round at best here, really for VP. Just pistols by and large. Uh, meanwhile, Bialy with his P250 is trying to go to town down to 24. Cage and B. Could be on the receiving end of a Pasha a Glock, but instead will drop him pretty easily overall. Bialy, I mean, there's no hope, surely, to get anything from this round. And there's Dignitas, Come, comfortable 3-0. VP will have a buy of full AK-47s. 
Here we go. Game is on. First test, really, since the pistol round for Dignitas. And they have picked up an AWP in the hands of Cajun P, so I'm curious to see where he's going to go with this one. Let's jump on board from his perspective. And he's going to be running outside with it, smoking outside. And indeed, he is going to be sitting in the garage, just behind it, watching up to the silo. This is the position I was talking about before, one of the reasons why the terrorists have a lot more maneuverability. MSL, super aggressive, catches Taz with a grenade out. And Taz drops to just 16 health. Nearly gets fragged out from the grenade afterwards. Down to seven now. And VP are trying to make a move outside. Cajun's been smoked out, so he's not going to see anybody on the cross down to secret. But VP started slow twice against G2. They managed to pull out a pretty sick comeback on train, but just withered away in the end on cash. So this has been a continuing trend for the polls. And that's starting very poorly indeed. Fifty-five seconds left. Smoke forces Cajun into a more aggressive position just on the side of the smoke, using it the outskirts to keep safe. But Virtus Pro aren't actually pushing in behind this. Two players down in secret. MSL's gonna get one frag and a second beautiful SMG work. And now the rest of the terrorists are kinda of caught in no man's land. They have to try and force out through Mini, but there's really no hope in this. Magic from behind, and this is a clinical performance by Dignitas. Only losing config in the rifle round. VP just didn't have any kind of synergy there. Two players go down secret, both fragged out from MSL. And as soon as he put, picks up the double spray down, I mean, that's pretty much the round put to bed. Magic currently 7-0. and zero. Neo yet to get a kill, and he has typically, in recent memory... Been the guy that VP have been banking a lot on. Basher is going to catch Config out in the open. Finally lands the shot. And it's going to end up being a 1D. Has spotted a second player. Nearly connects it onto Cajun. I think that was. He's down to two. And he has to just quickly scamper away. And a lot of outside control has been assumed by the terrorists. Already Bialy is forcing his way into heaven. And Magic Boy now is going to move ahead to an 8th frag. MSL in the meanwhile puts down Neo, trying to vent die. Snacks will answer back onto Magic, and with Cajun pretty low. This round certainly still in the balance, or at least it was until MSL buried Bialy. Taz and Snacks. Going to try and make this happen somehow, some way. Taz has been caught from behind. Snacks in the meanwhile has gone outside, but it's Taz that could see the next bit of action here. I say that, but actually MSL has backed away. So that should be alright for the time being. Snacks with the bomb in hands. Into heaven, he will move. His partner in crime of Taz has been put down. Let's see what Snacks can get done here. 30 seconds left. No smoke to cordon off either Squeaky or Mini, so he's going to have to go in for this himself. Planting on top of the the bomb. And it seems to be a bit of a sketchy position now for the CTs to retake. I mean, they've got kits, they've got flashes, but they're not even sure as to which site this is on. You can see MSL dropping down to, to B. He still thinks this might be a B plant. Of course, it's not. And so that's valuable time that is ticking away from the counter-terrorists. MSL now coming back up the vent. Snacks has heard that. He's biding his time, waiting to strike. Again, this is a very difficult place for the CTs to get done. Cajun executes him with the US point P point blank range, and it doesn't matter. Bomb will get defused. VP were looking like they could nab that round away. Instead, it's going to be a 5 0. Solid buy will be forthcoming, but they've got to start getting some rounds on the board. Having money is no longer good enough. Double ops in for Dignitas. Interesting to see double ops set up on a map like Nuke. I assume that one of these is going to be used in ramp. Let's have a quick look. Actually, Cajun's going up into heaven with it, so... One outside, one heaven. This does give them a, a pretty decent overview of outside. If a terrorist starts to push in. Oh, 
Cajun. Takes negligible damage, just down to four in total. Ooh, that's a bit of a, a rough trade off there. Magic tossing his incendiary into the smoke, so a bit of wasted utility, but he is okay to hold on to ramp for the time being. VP again setting up for a take onto potentially A. You can see Bialy and Snacks going to be throwing them out right here, right now. Molly's going to keep them at bay, but the smoke will extinguish it. That being said, Pasha's is getting caught on the wall. Still lands the first tap, comes out. Not going to be able to get the better of Cajun. They spoiled for choice here as Cajun. Second frag for him, not going to land a third. And now Magic, who has bit the dust once. I was curious if he's still on for his, uh, his flawless killing spree. Has died one time for eight kills. But Taz and Neo are both pretty low. goes down. Now the position has been compromised. Magic's not going to be able to sneak in here undetected. Taz using the bomb to his advantage now. And Magic is going to tap on that. Brings out Taz. This is all on Bial. He's going to be coming up from heaven. Should have the drop on Magic. Picks him off. And VP will claim their first round. It was laboured. It took them down to a 1v1. But they finally got it done. Ten for two is magic. Tried his best to get that clutch at the end. So close yet so far. I don't understand why I'd go for that full-on defuse. Maybe assuming the second plan was around main, maybe outside, something like that. It's worth just going for. So VP continue their fairly slow, steady rounds. We haven't really seen any fast grabs yet onto A, which is what a lot of teams will throw out there. Just a super aggressive push with flashes and mollies. Maybe that's still up their sleeve for later on. Cajun, who's already landed a shot onto Pasha, will outright kill Yarly. And Snax is trying to add Neo to that list of fallen terrorists. But Neo is not going to go down so easily. Config should have the drop on Pasha. But Pasha takes him down. Already had the right angle. Coming up secret, you are leaving your head fairly vulnerable for the insta dink. And Pasha will oblige. So impressive with 17 health. I thought he'd be a dead man. Brings it back to a 3 on 3. Here goes Pierre and Rabin on the meanwhile. This will be sat here chilling out. Oh, double spray down. I don't think you realize Pasha was there, but because Pasha was so low, the wallbang shot takes him out. Easy. 6 to 1. VP have reset their own loss bonus. They're back into an eco situation. I mean, maybe Snacks will drop some pistols across. This does allow them to maybe get a, an AWP nearby. But they do go for the Force Buy. So trying to keep the, the heat on to Dignitas. The thing is, though, their economy is not too terrible on MSL and Config. They can afford to buy next round. Rabino's not going to be far off either, so we could have another Force. I thought I'm even like, my bad. So, Galil and Orp for Virtus Pro with Deagles and a Tech 9. I'd be curious to see how they're going to approach this. It seems like it's going to be outside. Although, Snacks is using more of a passive angle for now. Waiting for the smoke to flume up. Don't think in the meanwhile is going to get that spray with the M4 on top of the smoke. He's doing a pretty solid job of holding this one down. Cage is going to miss the first shot. Pulls out the 5-7. And we'll be able to finish that one off. But... VP are holding firm here in this round. 50 seconds to go. And considering their weaponry, they've actually lost the pistols. <clears throat> so it's the weak weapons that have subsided. Still the glue and the AWP. Twenty-three seconds left. Pushing up heaven. Rubino. He's gonna get them all day, every day. Virtus Pro were forced into an aggressive play. 
and down they will go. So VP after forcing now find themselves at a potential of an 8-1 deficit coming up. I mean, you assume the Dignitas have this in the bag. in such a horrendous position. You can see what VP were going for, trying to vent dive maybe, get themselves a cheeky plant, but instead it somewhat backfired. It was a pretty much a throwaway round. Taz does have an M4, and with Neo landing the P250 headshot and finishing off onto config, this does give them an element of hope. Bomb has been planted, so mission has been accomplished anyway, plus two frags, which could turn into a few more. Coming through on vents are Rubino and MSL, leaving Taz in a one on three. He's played this positionally pretty well so far, but the bomb has been tapped on. Can Taz pull this one off? He goes for the spray. Does land it finally? He's about to get chased down through the doors, but he's going to pop up and start landing shots. So nearly takes down MSL, who's on eight health. But the frag is going to come on in. Eight to one will be the scoreline. But VP taking that one way closer than I thought they would. Very nice try indeed. Right, so basically, for those of you asking in chat as to the reason for this game, both VP and Dignitas finished joint 6th on points. I think it was 42 points in total. And so they're playing this best of 3 to decide who goes across to the finals, the LAN. So uh, a lot up for grabs for the two teams. And so far, Nuke has been uh, pretty one-sided, I think it's safe to say. And the hands of Dignitas. VP haven't had too many opportunities to get rounds. Dignitas has been playing solid CT rounds so far. That being said, config extremely low on 9. Thought he may get finished off by snacks peeking up on the, the silo. Isn't the case just yet. Moving into ramp in second. He's smoking off to corner off the area and then pull more to a uh, passive position. Rubino, meanwhile, throwing out the smoke. Making sure VP don't go for any super aggressive shenanigans, but here comes the set play. We've seen this a couple times from VP, and they haven't pulled the trigger afterwards. It's been a fairly slow round, slow take. So you can see the Dignitas not getting too carried away just yet. Neo in the meanwhile is making a movement outside. Cajun does spot him, but doesn't take the shot, and more importantly, doesn't stay around for too long. It could have cost him his life, and that would leave heaven very open. Instead, he relocates and lands two shots with the orb. Taz in the meanwhile... Spray down onto MSL, I think it's a second onto Rubino, who burns out right next to him. Magic, now the last remaining player, has the Auto Sniper. Not really a great weapon for this kind of scenario, honestly. He's going to be moving into close confrontational positions. Hence the P250, instead of the, the Auto Sniper out. He can trade off to the AK-47, though, if he can pull out through the door. Eats a grenade, though. Looking at the wrong side of main, and we'll get punished. Pasha will secure the second round for Virtus Pro, so better late than never. With the auto sniper purchase, you can see the Dignitas, especially Magic, is very low on funds. He's at $1,400. That's been dropped across an M4, but this is going to deplete the rest of the CT's economy. Lack of grenades as well across the board for Dignitas. Will this force them into a more aggressive play in this round? I mean, honestly, the, the passive defense they've been running with has been working absolutely fine. They've had a couple of hiccups, but by and large, it's been pretty smooth. So I don't see them trying anything different right now. Maybe if this continues to be the case, we, we may very well see them shift into a different gear. But for now, they're looking pretty set in their ways. VP haven't really gone for any aggressive plays. Any... At least we've seen them push fast with secret outside. Pretty important round, honestly, for VP. After resetting their own loss bonus again, we haven't seen them get consistent rounds yet. 
consecutive rounds. And so that needs to change right here, right now, if they want to finish this half of the respectable scoreline. Rabinho and MSL, though, with the first kills, are locking down the site. It's really looking quite terrible for the terrorists. It's all on snacks. He doesn't have control of the bomb. He spots Cajun B's head. They can't get the spray either. He's going to fall by the wayside. Dignitas. They've broken VP again. 9-2. to two. And the funds for the polls. Pretty lackluster at best. So Dignitas are in prime position to get well over double digits in this half. I mean, you're looking at 11 or 12 rounds potentially, honestly, here. And it could be a lot worse. Occasion B, 14-5. Had a storm of a game so far. He's not going to have the AWP into this round. It's just the CZs, it would appear. Taz eats a lot of damage from that grenade. Meanwhile, Snacks goes vent diving again, but Magic's up to the task. With the smoke up, the forward would came through. He's already in prime position to fend this off. Pasha already making a move down secret. And uh, he is going to get taken down pretty convincingly. So control room has been here seemed. And Neo goes for the knife, goes for the stabby stabby. But he's just going to get rinsed as soon as the spin around comes to fruition. Conflict drops the bomb outside. And now Stacks once again the last player remaining. VP have shown not too much prowess so far. I've got to stay on their T side. I mean, take nothing away from Dignitas. They've been really solid. By the way, MSR has 8 assists. 12 kills and 8 assists. What is that? Dude's been putting up some serious work. But VP just seem a bit toothless. They haven't really got too many entry frags. Yeah, I didn't think I would be casting this game, to be honest. And that's kind of told you are casting it. So, here we are. We desperately need entrance. It's one of the nightmares of Nuke. I mean, old Nuke was exactly the same problem on T side. But with some of the, the differences, some of the changes, it's made it a lot more doable for the terrorists. But Config is putting the hammer down. It's one of the first times we've really seen any of the CTs play aggressively outside, or at least in a forward position. So you can see they completely caught VP unaware. Dignitas are playing this one to a T. This is way better than I've seen him play on Nuke in the past. Uh, Stax is going to cheekily get himself a bomb plant, but I mean, staving off against a 1v5. Mission impossible, really. So, pretty simple for Dick Pass so far. What do we recognize, prediction wise? Do you, do you think VP have a chance here? This caster doesn't know how to type of play. Wake the legend. It's 11 2, mate. What exactly should I be hyping? I mean... <laughs> I'm all up for hyping plays, but it would just be fake hype at this point. VP are getting bent over. Like, they're getting railed. So, four spy for VP. Actually, let me just double check the economy. So, it's actually a half buy. Pardon me. And we'll have AKs into the next rounds. But, I mean, they're, they're looking at, what, a 12 3 half? For old nuke, maybe that would be salvageable on CT side. But for this one, I am not so sure. Bialy, though, with the Tech 9, point blank range. We'll answer back. One minute left on the timer. You have an AK-47 now with Kevlar behind it, but again, when you look at the lack of grenades, just two flashbangs, it's hard to see them really getting through onto a site, barring some huge entry frags. MSL somewhat whiffing out on that opportunity. He'll be disappointed. He didn't get that frag outright. Another bomb plant, but which was the business end of this half now. Bomb plants really don't mean a great deal, especially when you're at a deficit of this magnitude. Neo Decock on 12 health. 
interesting idea on the uh, the grenade, but it's not going to prove to be fruitful. Dignitas will be stomping towards at least 12-3 and very possibly a 13-2 half. <laughs> he's going for like the trick shot. The trick shot, Nate. I mean, there's nothing else he could really do there with 12 health, with that many people against you, your position's been compromised. Not looking good, is it? But Taz does thread the needle, lands a pretty tasty tap onto Rubino, so that opens up the A side pretty nicely. Snacks the meanwhile, it's already made a lot of movements down into the B side, but MSL is there to repel him with ease. Neil gets caught with a grenade out, and MSL could be on for the triple, but Cajun B comes in with the op, and it's 13-2. VP have been comprehensively smashed on their T half. Dignitas in cruise control, and... The way the VP have been playing their pistol rounds today, you'd assume the Dignitas have a pretty solid chance of picking up the second pistol, and that's pretty much map done. Why does the camera keep going into third person? That's kind of triggering, I'm not going to lie. What happened to VP? I mean, Dignitas, Dignitas have shown since the new nuke was released that they definitely want to play this map. As I said before, going back to the major qualifiers, they picked this map twice, I believe, and they got they got smashed pretty hard against Hellraisers, but they, they kept playing it. So they're clearly a team that wants to, to play this map as much as possible. VP allowed it to be open, and Dignitas just made the most of it. I feel like if Dignitas wanted to win this best of three, they needed to take Nuke, though. Now, that's not to say they've definitely won this map, but obviously they have a massive advantage here, and it's hard to see VP coming back from this. Then again, I said a similar thing on Train when they were 12-3 behind, but I feel Dignitas are going to have something up their sleeve on their T side here that could catch VP on the Plus the fact if the pistol goes across against VP, then that's pretty much the map done and dusted right there and then. So let's see if VP can break the curse. Let's see if they can get their first pistol round of the night on the board. CZ for Taz. Always interesting when you see uh, a CT upgrade a pistol. Because USP is so damn strong in pistol rounds. But at close range, the CZ can just mow through multiple players. And he is playing close range to stop that vent dive. So it makes sense. Snacks the meanwhile pushes outside. MSL gets caught and will be finished off. So big opening pick. That also gets mid uh, outside control, I should say. Config the meanwhile just pushes straight out of Mini. And it's doing some serious damage alongside Rubino, who's running out of bullets. He should be picked off right here and now. And finally goes down to Neo. So VP have done it. They've got their first pistol of the night in EPL. And at a pretty important time at that, the question is, is it just a drop in the ocean? Can they keep this going? I can't fix the title, guys. I'm just a scrubby caster. But every long journey starts with a step, and that's pretty much what Dignitas are trying to stop now, trying to trip over VP. A deco, been a while since I've been able to say that, but full deagles in effect for Dignitas. Problem is they've got no Kevlar, so the MP9s and the UMP are really going to mow through them. Should be a shred for snacks, double spray. Should be a triple here onto MSL, and indeed it will be. Bomb dropped out. Uh, icing on the cake, and Dignitas will concede a fourth round. As expected, though, VP are building their way back into this, but Dignitas have such a huge buffer of rounds. No big deal. 
Who do I support? Do you mean like football team? Newcastle. Unfortunately. So, should be more of the same here in this round as Pasha is going to meet all the terrorists. Not able to connect on the third player, but two players is more than good enough. Also, he probably wants to replenish with an M4 into the next round anyway. Imitas, importantly, though, have got the bomb planted, so it's going to afford them more grenades going through into the next one. But they have been stomped out of this one here. VP will get the defuse comfortably, replenish those weapons. I'll be curious to see if Snacks or Bialy actually keep the MP9. May keep one, but keeping both of them could leave them in a really sketchy position. So let's have a look. It appears they are going to keep both of them. Okay. The problem here is if they get into any kind of medium to long range confrontations with the MP9s, they're going to get absolutely pummeled from the AKs. So that could be one thing that works against VP here. But I suppose the idea is not tossing those weapons away and seeing if they can keep this in effect. If they can keep the MP9s getting frags and take this round then that's definitely a golden ticket back into this map, but still a long, long way to go. Yeah, Navi failed to qualify. They finished, I think, in 8th place, something like that. So they, they didn't qualify. It's 8th or 9th, I think. Of course, one way of mitigating the issue I was talking about before is playing the MP9s in close range positions. That's what Snacks is doing. I mean, he's outside, but he's playing on red containers. So it's still up close and personal. And he has heard footsteps. MSL's going to be coming around the corner, spots the legs and converts that into the kill. Meanwhile, Pash has been put down on ramp. And with Secret and ramp being taken simultaneously, that puts a lot of pressure on Viali. He has to perform. He has to go big with the frags. And I can't help but feel maybe that's where the M4... Could have came in and maybe salvaged the situation. Rubino is uh, faking this all day long. I think he's getting a bit antsy, though. You can see him almost panic as Config opened the doors, stopped the first plant. So, are Taz and Neo realistically going to have to flash this round? No, is the answer. I mean, the crossfire was so solid from Dignitas. And the lack of grenades really hurt VP. They have three players that can buy, but it's more Pasha and Taz than I'm curious on. If they're going to drop weapons across, and if so, which ones will they be? It looks like it's going to be M4s across the board. It's going to be a solid buy. They're not going to have an AWP, though. We saw what Cajun B was capable of doing when the roles were reversed. I mean, he single-handedly was holding outside and then was playing heaven. It was very difficult to lock down. So... Just see if VP are going to struggle with just this full on M4 comp. That being said, Dignitas have full AKs themselves, so it's not necessarily going to be AWP decided this round. Or AWP centric, at least. Cool. Go TV just having a bit of a stutter there. Obviously, this map pretty much hangs in the balance. If VP lose this round, they are almost guaranteed to lose the first map and be going across the cobblestone. A 1-0 deficit. The opening picks are going the way of Dignitas. MSL and Cajun B there for frags. MSL looking for a second one, and he is going to take that with ease. Taz on the vents has no real hope of getting too much done from this. I was going to say it's a one-and-done position at best because MSL had the cavalry coming in from behind. And there we go, 15 to 5. VP with not really a pot to piss in. They're up the creek without a paddle, and they're going to have Deagles, a CZ, maybe a 5-7 thrown in. Actually, no, they're going to go for CZs. It's, it's always curious to me how different CT teams sort of stack up when it comes to the, the debate between the 5-7 and CZ. Obviously, definitely a personal preference decision. But for example, G2 pretty much all playing with 5-7s. Very aggressive plays. 
everyone I'm switching to for the CTs is dying, and I think that pretty much sums up this map in a nutshell. Pasha, one on three with the Deeg, is a dead man. Virtus Pro will concede the first map in lightning fast form. They just got completely obliterated. There's not too much to say about that. Dignitas looked amazing. VP back to drawing board. Gonna have to come back big on Cobblestone as they are conceding the first map. 1-0 to zero behind in this deciding playoff match for the ESL Pro League Finals. So I'm going to get myself a drink and rest my voice a little bit, guys. 